Well then, let's get started. Hey guys, in today's adventure, Timmy and I are going to be fighting against a new enemy and teaching you on how to defend yourselves against it. Well, for a lot of us, it might be a friend turned foe, but this defense is going to be against Afmao.exe. Afmao is our enemy? No! I love watching her videos, especially the roleplay ones. She seems so nice, too. Why would she ever be our enemy, Eric? There must be a good reason. That's exactly what I'm going to explain, Timmy, starting now. So, guys, this isn't actually the real Afmao. From the name, it's a corrupted clone of her born from that creepy.exe creepypasta. This version of Afmao has been in one of her videos before when she carelessly wanted to find a secret music disc that caused a whole lot of trouble. Uh Alright, Eric. Well, let's not dilly-dally and get on to building some defenses so we can stop this new enemy. I'm one step ahead of you there, buddy. So, as with a lot of our defenses, we're gonna be building a nice, thick cobweb trap. Or, well, in this case, a wall. This is to basically slow our foe down so we're free to hit them with all we got. All right, I'm gonna do my best to protect this awesome house behind us. Also, didn't you tell me back then that cobweb walls don't really matter with high, but with how thick they are? Since tall cobwebs aren't as effective, or, uh, something like that. <laughs> yeah, because of how cobwebs work, a bunch of the Time, it's only ever practical when you're falling through the webs, not walking across them. So it's always better in this case to make a cobweb wall that's quite thick in width and not in height, because our enemy isn't really the type to keep jumping around. <laughs> Alright, the cobweb wall is pretty much finished, Eric. Let's go make the next trap. Okay, I love the enthusiasm today, Timmy. That's gonna come in handy later when we're fighting, since it might feel as if all hope is gone. But don't fret, this next trap is gonna be a big part of our combat strategy. Ooh, what's it gonna be, Eric? Looking at all these dispensers that we're placing down, is it gonna be another lava floor? I love those. Watching the enemy get slowed down by lava while burning is nothing short of satisfying. <laughs> well, as cool as that was, this time we're gonna be using something different. Instead of lava buckets, we're going to be placing down fire charges so it'll basically become a fireball floor. What? Huh? What's the difference between a fireball floor and a lava floor? Don't they just burn the same either way? Well, a lot of times a lava floor can get really messy, and since we'll be using pressure plates for the enemy to activate them, it's also ineffective since lava can be stopped by pressure plates, making it not really into a floor and more of like a dotted form of a trap that should be working well. By changing the lava buckets to fire charges, we can make sure that enemies, especially faster ones like this one, actually trigger them a lot and get burnt even more. Oh, I see. So since Afmao.exe is a smaller enemy than the ones we're used to, and she'll be a bit faster, having fire charges is going to catch her off guard even more, since lava flows pretty slowly. Good idea with the fireball floor, Eric. Awesome! Alright, now that we've placed all the dispensers in a checkerboard pattern, we can now I'll get to putting in the real star of the show, fire charges. If you guys don't know, these are extremely rare in survival mode, so only use them in creative mode. The reason why they're so rare is that they're mostly the projectiles that ghasts shoot out when they see you. Ugh, ghasts! I hate those pesky white boxes, especially when they cry. They creep me out a lot when I'm just trying to get some warped wood from the nether. Yeah, <laughs> even I get spooked out by them when they suddenly scream and shoot at you when and you can't even see them. Okay, since we're done filling all the dispensers up with fire charges, it's time to put down the activation method of this whole trap, which are just gonna be good old-fashioned pressure plates. And after, we're gonna have to test them out. Why are we using stone pressure plates down, Eric? Aren't they a lot more obvious to see than wooden pressure plates? Wood pressure plates confuse me sometimes when they're on grass. Well, since we're using fire charges, then wood pressure plates might burn when they get shot out. By using stone pressure plates, we're able to mitigate that problem since stone is inflammable. Well, it is, but it just has a higher burning temperature. Nice, we're pretty much coming closer and closer to the battle. Remember guys, these creepypasta enemies mostly come out at night, so you shouldn't be wasting time while building your defenses. You wouldn't want to be caught off guard unprepared, you know. Yeah, we're pretty much moving along this defense strategy pretty quickly and smoothly. Don't you think so, Eric? At this rate, she should just come out right now and fight us. Whoa there, buddy. Be careful what you wish for. Look, we haven't even finished setting up our arrow dispensers. Also, we got a bit carried away there and forgot 
forgot to mention that we're putting down arrow dispensers to shoot afmau.exe with and knock her back while she's being bombarded by fireballs. Yep, and as I'm looking at it, it looks like it's working like a charm. This is gonna be a doozy. I hope she's ready for these. <laughs> Dang right, we're done with this trap. Now let's move on to the next phase of our plan, which is honestly pretty simple, but it's gonna be a big part in how we defend ourselves. What's our next move, Eric? Like I said, we're just gonna have a simple thing to do for this one. We're gonna be putting down chests and placing swords and golden apples in there. That seems really boring. Can't we do something else, like summon Mecha Godzilla to fight for us? Mecha Godzilla? That's kind of impossible, bud. But I do have something fun for you with the next step, I promise. What are we going to be doing next, Eric? Did you finally get Mecha Godzilla? No, but this will be a bit more on the fun side of things. We're gonna be placing down one of the most ultimate defense weapons to ever exist. Lasers! Yeah, hey! I love lasers! Except when I'm at the receiving end, though. I really hate getting sliced to bits by plasma. Okay, I'm actually more surprised that you know what lasers are made out of, especially since that state of matter isn't taught normally until high school. But all right, we've pretty much geared up, and now it's time to fight. It's nighttime now. The air is cold, the moon is up, stars are twinkling in the twilight of the afternoon and dusk, the smell of blood lingers in the air. Uh, was that an internal monologue? And why did that actually sound good? Whatever, I'm getting distracted. She's here, and it's time to fight, buddy. Let's provoke her into coming to us. She'll think she won, but she'll be dead wrong. Exactly! I'm gonna provoke her, while being careful of the cobweb wall and the fireball floor. So she thinks she'll be safe, but in reality, it'll all be over for her. She's really slowed down by the cobwebs! This is great! We have time to plan ahead! Alright, let's get her to go into the center so she can get hit by the arrow dispensers. Nice! She's gonna activate the fireball floor and start building! So far, so good, Eric! Okay, buddy, now's the time to put those arms to good use and flip that lever until all those arrows are gone, or until she's slain. Ah! Go back to the hole you came from, you beast! You shan't take this fortress down! Not with us here! Yeah! Keep that energy up, Timmy! Like I said from the start of our adventure, this creepy pasta monster is basically born from an evil music disc, meaning there was probably a ghost or specter tied to that disc which imitated off Mouse likeness, causing it to grow in power and be free! This won't be easy, but keep on fighting! She's starting to move forward again, Eric! Right, this fight isn't easy at all. I've shot about a hundred arrows at her, and she's burned for more than 20 seconds now. But she's still standing. Ugh, can we win this? My answer to that is gonna be a resounding yes. We fought much worse, buddy, and much larger, too. Together, we can fight her. So gear up with your sword and golden apples, and let's take her down. Ow! This .exe hits like a truck. She's really fast with her attacks, too. Okay, don't forget to eat up so you have some buffs to pair with your sword's damage. We're gonna have to retreat into the house and unleash our secret weapon if we have to. Timmy, do you have it? Nice, you picked it up. Okay, Eric, I know I'm not that good at this game, but I think if we juggle her aggro on each other, we can take her on easily. That's exactly correct, my man. Good to know that you've learned a thing or two from our countless battles. Just keep hitting her rhythmically so we do maximum damage and chip her down more and more over time. Okay, looks like we have no choice but to retreat to the top floor and activate our secret weapon. I didn't want it to come to this since this house looks really nice, but whatever, our lives are more important. All right, it's time for my loyal retainer. We must defeat this fiend before she takes over the kingdom. Remember these words of wisdom. We shall not go into the night. We shall not stray from the light. We are the warriors of the light. And we shall always put in the good fight. You've been watching way too many fantasy movies lately, Timmy. But I agree, we can't give up. Not now that we've gotten her HP down by a lot already. She may be tough, but intelligence will always come out on top. Hi, this is it, Captain. Be careful not to hit the TNT with our laser rifles, or else we'll blow up. She's way too tough. Even us, the mightiest warriors of the land, cannot dream of middling her down until her end. We must retreat and use the magic weapon entrusted to us. What are you even saying right now? Let's skip the poetry and hit her a few times before pressing our panic escape button and use our remote detonators to finish this. 
All right, buddy, say goodbye to that nice looking house we were supposed to defend because it was all a trap for her to go bye bye. And that moment is now. Detonating the mines now. Arg, take this. Eric, let's check the blast site out. Let's be prepared, too. She might still be alive for all we know. Better to be safe than sorry. Well, it looks like we won today's adventure after a tough fight. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, guys. See ya.